This is Tim Willis, and today I'm going to be storing a series of videos on free products you can get from Adobe. Everybody knows Adobe is the big name in graphic software and some other types of software too, but they're known for things like Photoshop, Illustrator, things like that. Now, of course, these are paid products. Used to, you could buy these products outright. I don't think you can do that anymore. Um, they seem to have gone to a subscription model, but since we're going to be doing free programs anyway that's not a really important thing but in any case we are going to start from the beginning here and this video is going to be about getting adobe id so you can access these free products so here we are at google and our top uh, search result is adobe we'll go ahead and click on that All right, so now we're on the Adobe website, and you can see here it's on the pricing. It looks like they are running some kind of special right now, and this is the 25th of February, 2025. So it looks like um, it's a, normally a $59.99 charge. Anyway, if you're interested in that, you can look on their website for pricing on products. We're not doing that today. But we are going to go up here to the upper right hand corner and click on sign in. Okay, and you see it gives us a choice that we can sign in. And we do that with an email address, Google, Facebook, or Apple. Or we can create an account. And we are going to create an account brand new. Now I already do have an Adobe ID, but for this video, I'm going to create another one. So we're going to click on create an account. And you can see that it's going to ask us for an email address and a password. Now, I'm going to fill that in with my information. and But you won't see that on the screen. We'll just go ahead and skip to the next part once I'm done doing that. But obviously, you would put an email address and password to press continue. So once we completed that page with our email and password with the complicated set of rules, it will bring us to this page where we're going to create the actual account. And again, we're going to put in our name. Um, they want our date of birth. And then you have the little uh, legalese down here and agreements and so forth. So once again, I'm going to fill this in off screen and then we will move on. All right, so once we get past that screen, we come to this screen here. It says, Welcome to Adobe, Tim, um, or whatever your name is. And then it's got products here that we can explore, some paid, some free. You can see right here it has some free apps that we can download. We'll look at those in other videos. Um, and then you can explore plans for things like Photoshop, which are a paid program. You can get 40% off Creative Cloud. You can get 40% off Creative Cloud for the first year if you want to take care of that deal. Now, Creative Cloud, as I understand, is all their applications. It's just under one bundled price. But once again, since we're not going to be exploring paid products in this series of videos, I'm not really going to worry about that too much. Now, you see here that it does have a little icon or a little uh, avatar it's going to give you, and you can change that later on. And we are also we can click on this panel and you can see all the applications that are available. And you see some have a buy button, which means you got to pay for them. And some have things you can open, like let's see, where's the one I want? Uh, like Creative Cloud, which we'll probably be downloading later, Photoshop Express, which we're going to look at in a different video, and then other things like um, Scan, which is a mobile-only app. So some of these things are just for mobile devices, and some are for both desktop and mobile. I'm looking for something in particular. Okay, Adobe Express. That's one of the ones we're definitely going to be looking at. So you see... It has an open thing. If we click on that, it's going to open it up. But we will deal with that later. 
right now all we wanted to do was create the id now we have our adobe id and so in the future videos we'll be able to log in and use those products i'll go ahead and leave a link to the adobe website in the description but you can just google that as well and get there it's a popular enough company that it's not hard to find anyway my name is tim Lewis, and that is it for today i'll talk to you later